Hey guys. It's me. Um. I have no real big deal. Um, I was. I'm not gonna do one of my usual videos. It's more of a not a ranty type thing. Oh, another white guy with glasses and a crappy beard doing a rant. What do you know, Gypsy? Nothing. Except that I've had been using... Eh. I don't know. I had more of an idea, and now it's slowly trying to escape my head. And <laughs> but anyways, um... What do we do tomorrow? I don't think... I think we need to appreciate and watch... watch But, like, there's a lot of movies out there that have a lot to offer. And, you know, maybe even even if it's just surface level, but give us a, a glimpse. Um, into our past. And even, like, say, a period doesn't give us an actual glimpse into that past. It may, if they get a few, few things past, right, it might give you a glimpse into the past that they're depicting. But more importantly, it gives you a, a great um, feel for what how people were thinking. What people were thinking about, what they felt. It gives you a little taste. Of um, yeah, the zeitgeist of the time period in which those films were made, uh, whether they're uh, set in their con the contemporary for the time time period, or even looking back to some point in the past. Give you a little idea of the thought processes of the people of that time that that film was made. That, um, I think more films uh, should be on the preservation than what are currently being preserved being worked on, uh, the ones that are guaranteed to be preserved, um, like I said, not just the classics, but, um, the other films. There's only a small fraction. And literature, classic, you know, old literature. Not and once again, not just the classic. Of course you should read the classic. Of course those stories should be preserved. But there's others that maybe have just as much value. And maybe you could be the one that preserves it. Not just movies, like I said, TV show, music, music, really. I, you know, there is no, there are no forms of music that. White as well as the blue country. They are the true American folk songs. Like, American folk music really isn't the real. Like, it, it's authentic. It tells a, a bit of our story, but the real heart of America is 
found in blues, jazz, and blues, tra jazz, country, and gospel. And they tell the American blues, jazz, country, gospel. Yeah. They tell the real story of America. Um, early rock. But rock and roll is birthed through those other things. Jazz. Uh, jazz is our true. You know, it's our true classical uh, music. It's the real, it's where the genius comes from. To him, the gypsies will be blown by. Um, the real, real freaking great history of, of you know, the true masterpieces of American music are found in jazz. Our great composers are in pop music, jazz, jazz especially. My, you know, I put Miles Davis up against uh, Beethoven and Mozart any fucking day. Um, same with Thelon Thelonious Monk. Fucking, they are geniuses. They are our true, true geniuses. Uh, Hank Williams. Johnny Cash, B.B. King, our true Chuck Berry, Little Richard, our true greats. So this is how your people's my hospitality. You piano playing mountebank, bought to the beach near the last time you were here. This was great luck. Now. Um, But, uh, sorry, we went off on a little weird. Actually, this whole thing is just a tangent. It's just a rant. Um, and it's mostly because I'm bored and I'm alone. And I'm thinking. Um, I don't know, man. Like I said, I really think you need to watch more old movies. And not just for the taste and history, but they... A, a, a good movie and, and I don't just mean those classic films those are obvious but an old movie you know that made especially one that just did its job if you look you can find old movies living by doing exploitation films. So a lot of those messages, those ideas that they had that got them on the blacklist, you will find them in those films. Same thing with the TV shows and old books. Old books are certainly some of the great ideas and terrible ideas and terribly great ideas. And once again, I will say it again, not just those classics. Music. <laughs> Music. 
You can't believe how much music I've found from the past that said something more about what's going on today than music today. There really were songs. From the past, which were truly ahead of their time. Any genre, any genre of music, you can find someone who was a misunderstood genius and will resonate with you today. You will find, dig through old books, you'll find something that has something to say that people ignored. <laughs> old art. Everybody knows the masters and, and the, you know, the true, the geniuses and whatnot. Those weren't the only artists. Like, and those other artists deserve to be preserved. And the things that they could teach us, the ideas that they were trying to convey, the bits of their history they were trying to show, they all deserve to be seen. Everybody thinks about the classics and maybe even the cult classics. But dig deeper. There's so much more out there. With these devices, even though only there's a lot, there's like a fraction of what exists actually has made it onto here. With this, you can find stuff you never even heard of. Those classics be preserved but like those are the easy ones those are the easy ones those are the ones people automatically already agree they already agree that they de you know are deserving and should be looked at you'll learn about those in your classes and whatnot they'll be written about in history books but search out. Go dig deeper. <laughs> Find the hidden gem that someone else has, uh, that others lost. Oh no, man. Uh, that's all I gotta say. I just was ranting. Maybe I'll finish uh, the book tomorrow or do a coloring. Um. Welcome to the next. All right, man. Dig easy. Comprehensive.